Hi, hello, so this is one of the beginner filler things to do with um, Dragonlance. So as you can see, or you'll have seen, there's the Dragonlance logo on the, you know, on the thumbnail. But the barrier is green and down the bottom it says Tales from the Yawning Portal. This is me basically telling you we're doing a Tales from the Yawning Portal in the Dragonlance universe. Simple. So yeah, do enjoy. Um, this is completely optional. It may affect the story depending upon certain things. I hope it will. I hope it gives us some stuff. But at the same time, it's going to be totally optional. Till then, guys, enjoy. And I will see you all very soon. We talk so much shit and all of us. Anyway, let's uh, let's crack on with it, shall we? Crack off. It's a place in Poland. <laughs> As you the party yourselves, your past few days here have been something else. Start with the obvious approaching walking wreath, going in, getting into a fight, Renard straight up dying mid-fight, Yu's going back to the elves, getting some stuff to resurrect, Clifton performing two back-to-back -back miracles in the middle of a fully functioning war party, everyone absolutely fucking amazed by that one. The party, then with their big balls that they have, going back to walk and wreath to finish the fucking job. Well, they finished. They're not over that job. one from you guys. <laughs> As they fought the Angelox in the Shadowfell Grey, closed the portal, and started to leave Walking Wreath. Let's just walk outside. I can see an all too familiar face. Who's that? Da <laughs> Dalamar. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Sylvan SDL. As he approaches. You have um, sorted your business here, I assume. No, please, no, not all at once, by all means. It's not like I'm a busy man with things to do. Bangles. Who are you? I can ask you the same question. What about your friends there? To mm. point towards Clifton, Exodus, and Melanor. I had to think of your names there. Mm. It's okay. It's hard. Being as I wasn't there last week, I have no idea what we're talking about, but okay. That's out nope. of character. Not last week. This is much older. So when I stay out, Well, I still wasn't there. You were there when they met the Sylvan SDLs. Yes, you were. I did. You helped. But I wasn't there when. But I don't remember. I'm trying to put it's captions so on this video through my phone service, and it's captioning the call, and it said, Never met the open STLs. <laughs> uh, so, the Sylvanasty Elves, the elven people who are from the Sylvanasty region, who are all supposed to be with the Kagonasty Elves. However, there's a party up here in the Northern Wastes looking for magics. You encountered them. Uh, they were very happy for you to run to your deaths uh less than a week later you just came back with a dead body and got a mocking you deserved but you were given something that may have aided in the resurrection of renard and i think that was kind of like the last session you were here for but they did say you know i had session 19 as my last last session for some reason session 19 as... Where, in which Clifton finds the spell raise that? Yep, yep. Uh, even though it says we're on session twenty four, that's just for the that's just for YouTube numbers. Believe it or not, um, session nineteen was actually only three sessions ago. So session twenty one is the one. So, 
Yeah, we're on session 21, but to correlate with the YouTube video splitting them up, it's technically session 24 we're on now. Okay. By running it through. I'm confused, oh my god, how much did I miss? <laughs> Not much, I did put a little thing up for it, but it was a little while ago. But yeah. Pardon me? Z kind of looks. So, what was in there exactly? And did you solve the problem? Mm, I think I can speak for them, I guess. Mm. Um, there was a portal to the grey. The mm. previous group that went into it. Uh, I believe they were killed in trying to stop the monster from, from coming over on this side. We um, dealt with the monster that was trying to break into our dimension and close the portal to the ground. I'm back. So, with that, I will investigate this monolithic tower. I will see if there's anything that we can use for it. Given where you've said you've been, we only ask that you use. Check that one place that we asked for up north. By the time you're done there, I will hopefully have figured out where the city is is that you seek or at least have some more information for you what um what place are you referring to a city dedicated to chamosh mm. i believe there are some magical items that we could use to help aid in restoring the forest uh, Fane is gonna break open the map. <clears throat> and, and he's gonna look over. He says, We currently have um, the Eastern Maze. That's the X. And Circle of Cedars. Right. I don't know what's up by the circle, but in the Eastern Maze, you will find the city. Okay. Let's get going, I guess. No time like the present. Man. Where are we currently on the map? Uh, you are the blue ball here. Okay, that's not bad. That's not a bad walk at all. We could probably make, their, make it there by tomorrow. I will contact you once I know what's going on. Uh, I believe you can reach us through uh, the far the far gap that your people have, as well as our people. Okay, I'm back. As he looks at you, without or whatever you anything. call it, he looks and then he. Turns away and holds up his hands. You can just hear in your head, or I can do this. That works as well. But yes, go forth and honor your end of the bargain before we resend our generosity. Cousin. What is he? Hmm? What is he? He said, go fulfill your end of the bargain before we revoke our generosity. Cousin. No, like, what is he? Uh, oh, so he's a silver nasty elf. Silver nasty elf, and you're a quality nasty elf. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's what he's calling me, cousin. Okay. I was like, huh? <laughs> Right. Son, I'm a dwarf. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Staunch. Go. Oh, time to get moving. Let's see. Walks on N. Let's go. Let's Move on up. Moving on up. I'm too <laughs> weak to sing that song. <laughs> what? Even I know it. <laughs> Just move through the Eastern Maze. <clears throat> For the first time tonight, ladies and gentlemen, could I have a D20? Ooh, who wants to do it? Who wants to do it? Oh, Who's right. Do you know what? Do you know what? Jalen, pay the man his d20. I feel, I, I, I'll go, I feel, I feel Melano should do it, considering, never mind, Revel. I was going to make a case that you could all place your bad luck on the person who hadn't been here long enough. I, uh, I sent it through long yep. before you mentioned Melano's <laughs> name. <laughs> you walk through. Wouldn't be needing that. Passing through the wash in the wave, you make it to your destination with no issues. <laughs> and as you do, coming in towards, you see sunken down a fair bit in these lands, a pyramid temple. Tread across the cracked flagstone of the area. Step over fallen, shattered pillars. This place is old, ancient, derelict, quiet. As you walk, you hear the Of your feet, your heels digging in. Watch as you get closer to this odd temple. As you do, you hear. As you look around, you don't quite see it. But you hear it. The constant beating of wings. You just look back to back, huddled. You hear a distant, but very loud. Oh, God. It does the ground shakes and you hear this Do you look this huge ball of fire essentially to the ground and as it does darkness as the ground no. gives way the gaping maw beneath your feet engulfs you You land. And in your landing, you wake. At some point, unsure when, but when you do, there is dust everywhere. You awake in this odd temple. The ceiling in this particular room that you find yourselves in is quite high. About 20 foot, maybe 40. Hard to tell given the Rune from behind you. 
<clears throat> I'm about to do a lot of talking. I'm sorry. You find yourself in a long, narrow chamber. Running east to west. Oh, yeah. Bad news, guys. Um, north is not north. What? Oh, okay. Did I, I stutter? Okay. Uh, I've got something for you. Too big, too big, too big. Zum, 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 zum. And then I want to rotate this two hundred and seventy, right? Yep. And then I put it in a Wally box. Then I put a light in the Wally box. And then the light provides vision. And now, as you all zoom out in the darkness, there should be a wind rose compass. Do we all see it? Over here. Yeah. Yeah. I will um, move. I don't think I see it. I'm just kidding. I will move well, this period. I'm not supposed to see it. You're probably going to want to come in. Me? Oh, yeah. This is a oh dear. Fun. Oh goodness. Don't worry. I have a I have a whole cutscene to fucking read, mate. Don't worry. <laughs> You're oh, in a right. long narrow chamber running east west. In the center of this You're the apartment. You're the one that's gonna be You're the one that's gonna be massaging my ass if this position doesn't work. In the center of this apartment is a dome shape on the floor. On the eastern wall is a blank faced stone door. The west end of the room is blocked by fallen stone and rubble due to your collapse. The two side walls appear to have several niches cut into them. The shape in the centre of the chamber appears to be a small alcove protected by a half a dozen protected by the half dome, sorry. A small alcove protected by the half dome with the open end facing towards the door in the eastern wall. The alcove is set in a recessed, shallow, tiled well, one foot deep and ten foot wide. The alcove itself is four foot high, the recess contains some sort of display. The display appears to be a diorama depicting a hunting party of ancient warriors. In feathers Ooh. and deer hide garments, in a mountainside scene, some have pulled down a stag with the aid of a dog. Another group is cleaning a small mule deer. And others have, a cornered, have cornered a panther with spears. A scout watches the panther from an outcropping alcove. He holds a metal staff with a loop on its end. It looks to be a shepherd's crook. Three niches on both the northern and southern walls are five foot wide and about three foot off the floor. Each niche containing a diorama depicting some aspect of tribal life. The six inch tall figures on all of the displays appear to be made of a stucco, realistically and brightly painted. The scenes portrayed represent fishing, farming, religion, warfare, and a creation story. Crafting. A cave-in completely blocks the west end of this chamber. At short intervals, you can hear some rubble breaking, dirt coming loose and spilling into the room. Several large stones have wedged themselves tightly in the ceiling. There is no escape. Through the way that you came in. Here, let me finally log in into my computer. I'm gonna take a Tylenol or two because this headache is fucking me up. Also, I want to say I like I like I like your description, Scottish, because it really gives me the feeling that you've gone 
where no one, not even going back to them, you have literally just astral projected to the plane for a moment and are describing our surroundings. Like, 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 it feels like, it, it, like, I can't even say, like, you're reading, um, where, not even reading, but, like, narrating what's on a map. It just feels like you're just, like, you're like a ghostly apparition in the room and just like, yeah, I think I see this and there's some of that. That looks to be a bit of that, and you're just describing it to us in, the, in like, the most first-hand detail possible. Does anyone want to see the original cover of this book? Yes. Sure. But let me switch to my computer first. Hold on. Uh, do we have a long rest before uh, after last session? Uh, long rest. No, the week. you didn't. However. Oh, damn it. However, I will say in this particular area, it does feel safe. You know, there's very clearly one way in, and one way out. One way out, and they are joined by a digestive tract. I'll also see <clears throat> that you see the the server. dust settling. Yeah. It is now. Everybody catch that dust before it settles. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> You're now free. Just come up and gather bearings and realize pretty quickly that north ain't north no more. North ain't north no more. Wait, you, what do you mean that literally? You're a little turned round in this particular area. Oh, yeah, okay, I was about to say. About Is to someone say. peeing? No. It's the ambiance. Don't worry. <laughs> the <fucking> ambiance <laughs> of a man's bathroom? <laughs> Just for an oh, arm, you know, you know, pissing all over the rubble. Right. <laughs> yeah. Just like Cl Clifton just goes off to the, to the side somewhere, pisses, and you ask him what he's doing. He's saying, I'm marking our trail so we know where we started. He says that he could, he could use a nap. I mean, like, scent. It stays. Also, I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh, that's, that's a lot of rubble there. I want to go over and pick up a couple rocks. Fist sized rocks. Yep. You can pick up a few big, old, cracked flagstone rocks. Yeah. It's very clear that the impact. As well Hold as on weak yes, me. You said what? I say I've had it with these motherfucking snakes. One minute, my, my sibling's talking to me. Yeah. Finn, what are you up to? You're on mute, mate. By me, she mean these cutouts in the walls. That's what Anisha is, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, also, a tippler, you still have access right, to back. John. Still have access to Renard's sheet, so you'd be able to play him, unless you'd rather someone else do. Uh, hey, ask me. What's uh, yeah. what snack I would want from Dollar Tree? And I I'll said, play him. Fries, like a fool. Yeah. Also, well, what's in see. what's in each one of these? Again, so I have. So here's the thing. I didn't describe them fully. Okay. I will now describe them as you're at them. And to give you an idea of the prep work I've done. Oh, what's that? Hey. This scene here, as you look, in a river scene, a dozen commoners gather. They rush to catch fish with nets and carve a dugout. Mm -hmm. Okay. This one. Twelve commoners are engaged in farming, the planting of maize and the harvesting of wheat. Five tribal warriors stand guard, and a cult fanatic priest in a bird costume blesses the fields. Okay. 
This one. This display portrays a temple upon a tired pyramid. Seven commoners are bringing small offerings of gold and jade. Before the temple stands, a cult fanatic priest handling a constrictor snake. Around him oh, stand question. three costumed tribal warriors. One dressed as a winged serpent holds a spear. Another is dressed as a bear with razor claws. The third represents a coyote holding a torch. There are also several stone statues of gods. There are small bits of gold and jade atop some of the statues. Arjay, yeah? Uh, so, um, Revel and, uh, excuse me, Revel and Exodus have dark vision, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, let me just, uh, pop this on real quick. Goes like, ah, I just gave Renard a torch. I think Renard has the spell light. Let me check. No, he doesn't have light. He has no cantrips, what a loser. I'm, not an I'm gonna touch. Uh, I'm gonna. I, I. I'm gonna touch uh, my um my pendant. This is also good for uh, good for um good for stealth, because I can will make you guys see the light, but other creatures can't see the light. Are there real gold and jade in this? Is that real? Oh, like, or is it like in it? Where the hell is the light? As far as you can tell, it's real. As far as you're aware, it's ancient, but... The spell okay. gave me no light to put on. Oh, uh... There you go, Matt. I don't know what that is. Maybe I... Did I click wrong? No, I put, I put light on you. Don't worry, Matt. Oh, okay. Uh, Rebel goes, guys, are we following any rules whenever it comes to this place? What do you mean? I still can't see what's behind this corner. Oh, now I can see. Never mind. Like... Are we following any rules whenever it comes to this place? What do you mean, what, like, what any should rules? We, what should we operate by? What should we operate by? I mean, it, it sounds to me like you have a question in your mind. This statue over here has gold and jade in it, and I kind of want it. This is where the okay. Silver Nasty L sent us, right? What? No. Yes. Wait. It is? Yeah. Okay. To see if yeah, if you loot that... that to his people. Te technically, technically, this that statue also belonged to their people. So if you're going to steal it, you probably bring it back and then ask them if you can have it. Mm -mm, this isn't of Sylvan SD origin. Might as well say, didn't we, uh, I, I let out of character real quick, weren't we attacked and then a portal opened up beneath us? No. Like nah, it, we were attacked and then we fell into a hole. Dragon blow fire, fire break floor, you fall through floor. Right. All right. So the so the so the items we're recovering have been relocated, and this isn't a silver and silver nesty uh, compound or ruins. I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I uh, I take the uh, gold, oh, yeah. the gold and <laughs> nice stuff. No, no, no. Are you gonna say Scottish? This is gonna stop him. Okay, I'm stopping. Like. I mean, look at these things. They 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 worship and dedication to some like cult figure, right? So okay. Cult figure. No, this one um, that I'm underground. Handing, underground devil. Okay. Revel sees a gold because he is indeed prosperous. It takes. I see. Down. I see a lot of gold and jade. Revel sees. Money. Just, you're not thinking here. Yeah, what's up? We kill the ghost first. There's and then no, come back for it. There's no guaranteed ghost here. It, we're gonna find we're gonna find out really soon though. It's a it's a look at this. Like look to the, the call like figure on the on the merle on the wall and say there's fucking ghosts here. No, we'll figure it out. See if anything gets mad. See, no, 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 <laughs> we're not doing that. Because last time we did something like that, Brandon, we won, but we didn't have to fight that creature. 
Okay, so how do, you, that undead thing. how do you guys think uh, we're getting out of this room? Because nine times out of ten, that door is not unlocked. You can try it. I was going to cross his arms and wait for you guys to go over there and pull that door. Well, there's, uh, there's some... I'm going to come into the door. I want to roll I mean, you our can try. You roll. can try if it's unlocked first. So, sorry, so sorry. <laughs> you want to roll Arcana on the door? You want to you wanna see if it's magically locked before you see if it's actually locked? No, I want to see if there's anything about the door that I can ascertain. Um, so, this door is very much floor to ceiling. Big. And you, you can only tell that it's a door as there's a seam that seems to break. There is no handle and you cannot see a keyhole. So you just push it. You guys are worried about a door that we have to push open because it's big? Go ahead, push it, strong guy. Why don't you come help me, strong man? There's one for two here. Let's, let's look at these the walls. Walls. Uh, I'm more let's dexterous. Look I do Let's look at these pictures. <laughs> I just be like, can we, t can we take an hour in here, maybe? This niche that you are looking at, my friend. <clears throat> in a scene that shows various forms of crafting, 12 commoners are busy weaving rugs and baskets, carving totems, making pots, Grinding stones for weapons, and making clothes. Alright, it's that one there that you were by, uh, Exodus. Uh, move on to the next one. <clears throat> the next one here, which is technically backwards, in the display that depict the creation of the world, all the statuettes are stylized and obviously non-human. These figures seem to be removable, but they don't seem to have any magical property about them. A god adorned in green quetzal feathers is mixing ashes with blood sculptures of a man and woman whilst four towering figures painted red, black, blue and white are standing around a fire committing suicide with their daggers someone mm. wrote this two smaller figures are ringed by the four the modest pimply one is being consumed by fire Whilst the braggart, Lord of the Snails, cowers in fear. I will just copy and paste that one out, as it was a bit of a big one. Yeah, I was going to say, that's the only one that seems really fucked up so far. I was waiting I mean, for it. There's also B, which was a... A cult priest in a bird costume. Never mind, he was busting. Yeah, well, that wasn't that bad. It was just, you know, a preaching. Hey, the, bird, the, 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 the fucking, um, the green feathers here and the bird costume there are giving me a thing. So that's all, that's all I really feel yeah, about. Yeah, this, this is all tribal shit. Let's see the last one. Let's, let's look at the last one, guys. Let's... <clears throat> A scene of tribal warfare involves 20 warriors in combat, 10 on one side painted black, whilst 10 in the other donned in red. These figures, as you look at them, seem to have this light type animation to them, as the light glints to make it look like they're moving. So with there's there's if I feel like the red and black so, um, is something to note, um, but n not just because of the colors, but because of the fact that they were killing themselves in that one, and they were well they're fighting in this one. I don't know if this has anything to do with each other, but yeah, I'm I'm not feeling inclined to disturb much in this time. 
could I make a religion check to see if I am aware of these of the story? I'll look at the uh, the central thing yeah. right here. What's this about? Okay, the central one. Jesus, that's its own thing. There we go. Um, <laughs> it's its own thing? That's in the big box that I read in the beginning. Fun fact, this big box goes over two pages. Oh, wow. here we go. Oh, Never mind. The central diorama is held in an alcove holding 12 tribal warriors, one scout, a mastiff, a panther. And it also has, uh, that's this rough part there, there's a bit more that's, don't you worry, this alcove with the half dome set in a recessed tiled wall, blah, 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 blah. The display appears to be a diorama depicting a hunting party of warriors in feathers and deer, deer hide garments on a mountainside scene. Some have pulled down a stag with the aid of a dog. Another group is cleaning a small mule deer. The others have cornered a panther with their spears. A scout watches the panther from an occupying outcropping above. He holds a metal staff with a loop on its end. It looks like a shepherd's crook. And there's an image of him. Have a hand out. Mm. No, no. I wanted to note that I wanted to I wanted to cast religion earlier instead of Arcana, but not just on the door. I wanted to cast it on the room, rather check for the room. I wanted to like I just wanted to see the end. I didn't really expect to find much, but I wanted to see like the spiritual intent of this place. If that makes sense. Uh, Melano, you had a question. Um, no, just the tribal warrior. Like, oh, yeah, never mind. Horrible. You repeated yourself enough, so that that's okay. I'll um, I'll go with this. Thank you. <laughs> I'm omitting the word "allum." Don't worry. Um, allum is really just if you're running it in Greyhawk, where this is originally from. So don't worry. Yeah. yeah. Along with the figurine. Uh, you want to vibe check the room? Roll a vibe check. Alright. History, religion. Mm. I think they're both intelligence. I am based. going to. I'm going to guidance myself just to be safe. That doesn't matter. That was Exodus ah. that rolled that. Clifton's going to roll his own one with guidance. Uh. Nothing about this room seems off. Big air quotes when okay. I say off. You know, you got one guy killing himself, and, or four guys killing themselves, and one guy being burnt at the stake. But, like, you know, everything in these Relatively, figurines. Relatively, this room isn't any more disturbing. Yeah. Everything in these figurines is quite old. And, I mean, that's what they kind of done back then, you know? It seems to be more fledgling offerings from fledgling people to fledgling gods. Okay. All right. So, what's next, gang? I don't know. You're the man with the plan. I have no plan. I was mm -hmm. like feeling like I'm gonna. I'm gonna look at this door over here. See if there's actually no keyhole. Roll a perception check. Okay. <clears throat> so, the door carved with the sun symbol appears to open into the room, despite having no handle. It seems to be a pull door. Ooh. I know gets weirder there are hinges on the side and scratches on the floor no visible lock or handle though but there is that slight gap that stretches across the top and the side of the door enough that you can tell that it is a door mm. eight holes 
seem to have been bore into the door. But an inch in diameter, nothing can be seen from them, which gives you the indication that they maybe don't go all the way through. The door seems fairly thick. The lintel is arched. And with your perception check, you can see that one of the stones does move away to reveal a keyhole. Nice. Now, um, how big is the key that would look to be like fitting in there? Mm. To about th maybe three inches long. Doesn't okay. look to be like doesn't look to be like you know big keys to the city type thing, but you know big enough you could put it in your pocket. Okay. Um. So. Either we're stuck in this room, or there's a key somewhere in here that we gotta find. So is so it I'm trying to break it open that golden statue. I mean, I just wanted the gold and gems from that, but you know. Oh no, that was just a joke. What about the? Uh, I'll go in your we take a few. No, don't actually do that, please. Put it in sideways. Oh, I will. I can also lockpick it. Yeah, that's you, what I was wondering about. But I didn't want to like stereotype the rogue. You you're know? gonna, hey. you're gonna, you have to lockpick. How tall is this door up? Uh, let's say this door here goes to about ten foot. You have to lockpick ten foot off the ground. The, you... the keyhole isn't where a keyhole should be. I'm gonna teach you a little thing called teamwork. I'm be like, we're not. You want, you want I you're, should boost you? You're stronger, I mean, and then yeah, he would. He'd be like, yeah, I made, like, I made Clifton a good I'm six sorry. seven. God, it's just where a keystone is, right? Was that sir? A keystone is at the top of the door. Yes, and under the keystone is a keyhole. Right. I made Clifton least, a good. At least in this one. Like, you'd have at least six more feet standing on his shoulders. Uh, well, not uh, men at least, but around. Give or take a few inches. Oh. Great. Right. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to request a strength check from Clifton and a dex mm -hmm. check from Exodus. Uh, use, your use your better modifiers. You know, it's a strength-based and a dexterity-based check. If you're better at one part of dex or strength than you are the other, go ahead and roll it. I've got two DCs for both of you pre-rolled right here. And that's going to determine how the next roll goes for Exodus. You said strength, not not, not, not athletics, right? Strength-based check, so if your athletics is better than your strength. Oh, bad. That's a plus five. Oh, you want to roll the full, the, the full skill. Skill or attribute, whatever. Come. Then, as you climb up onto Clifton, this is a strong man by all other metric. He knows what he's doing. Is you seem to wobble left and right, dexterous, but you know, maybe the falls knocked you about. Technically speaking, your check should be with disadvantage. Oh, okay, let me roll that then. You're already lower than the DC, but you know. Right. Yeah. So you are fumbling and, you know, bend put your hands out and start moving. You see the lock, you see the hole. You have thieves tools? I, th I, th I believe that I did. Let me, let me look at my inventory because I, I, I thought, yeah, I have thieves tools. You do, yeah. Roll of Thieves tools. Uh, I'll see if it adds your proficiency. DC's quite high. Uh, because you're, you know, fumbling around. Uh, your DC to beat was 14, mate. Oh, man. It's quite high. <laughs> 14 for the, for, the de for the dexterous rogue on a dex check. Let's see. Uh, 1 plus 3. Just make sure that's adding your proficiency bonus. Yep, yep. yep.
I don't know where it's pulling the one from, though. I don't know, it didn't ask me to add anything, it just asked me to... Should be using your dexterity, and your dexterity modifier is a plus two. Either way, DC was 20. You... And you just hear this... And the door seems to jettison just a little bit backwards towards you. As if these hinges were under just a little bit of tension. As it kind of comes out about half an inch. I'm always scared. Eggs is causing him to fall off of Clifton shoulders. It's come down, you can tell this door is now unlocked. Would it be pretty convenient to have uh, well, to have one of those uh, things with the hook? You could hook it under the door, maybe. I don't know. What? Things are the hook. Uh, I mean, we, we still have to pull the door outwards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, a half-inch lip to do such. Oh, okay. I bet. So, who, who's strong here? Renard, you look strong. Mildly. I have, I have a 15 in strength, but let's go. All right. So I'm gonna gonna get some. Gonna gonna chalk up my fucking fingers. Mister, I'll make uh, a man are you. All right. Not any in strength. Uh, before we get off into combat, uh, Renard, were you not that my strong? Hands on. No, uh, no. You just you just held up Exodus, his uh, robust self. With all his armor on. Okay, fair. <laughs> but there are stronger people. Look at you, he man. So I'm just creeping at the door and pulling it for you. This. <laughs> Opens. Man, now can I grab all of the stuff that's here? Yoink. Appreciate you. Out of here. You get five pieces of gold and five pieces of jade. I'd like to point out that's not five gold pieces in coin, that's just um like five chunks of gold. How big are the chunks? Like nuggets? Yeah, they ain't very they ain't very big, but they're enough for little statues. Okay. Uh don't go too far, Renard. You might die. Then we're here. Since we are in a dungeon, I'm going to make sure there's no traps. The stone walls of this corridor are carved to resemble a stack of bamboo-like logs. The passage slopes down from the single door on its western leg to the lintel of which has been crafted to represent a stylized cavern entrance. It leads mm -hmm. to double doors of beaten bronze worked to resemble a forest of seaweed. One sec, uh, five. Where's my note? Notes, 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 notes. You are looking to run a check for traps. I will give you perception. One sec, sir. Um, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. There we go. There you go, what? Oh, I'm trying to make a notes thing. This perception check for traps is open to anyone. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll make one with Exodus. 
So about that, I got a yeah. Like I said I got a phone call. That's right. Uh, Looks fine. So <laughs> Looks perfectly fine. Uh, <laughs> I'll roll as Renard. Ooh, what's this? Renard has amazing perception. That's crazy. Safest houses. Can't see anything in this place. The walls pretty. The doors pretty. Pretty. It's nice. Long corridor. I'm getting mad mage flashbacks. <laughs> oh, God. Well, corridor. I personally think that the most heavily armored person should go through and and and, and uh, test with a shield held high. Mm, one sec. Uh. Is that? Wait, shit. That's me. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go through. Forget it. <laughs> just misty steps to the other side. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Come back, come back, come, come back, come back. Misty steps through. It's cool, guys. If you ever, if you need this, if you need this, here. Just okay, in case. Okay. I probably have some defensive crap as a monk that I can. Level seven monk has evasion. I'm pretty sure. Yes, level seven rogue. Monks get it as well. They do. Okay. I'm looking. I'm level six. No, I'm not. I'm a level no, one level fighter. Ah, oh, yeah. Level seven overall. Level six. Monk. Yep. Uh, just checking. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just, uh, you know, step, 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 step. You do. Mock, you oh. do this. <laughs> May a deck save. Yes, sir. Everyone, bar Renard. Oh, oh everyone. Yeah. Hey, Renard knows what's up. He knows he's so smart. Oh, God. Oh, God. What? <laughs> what? Yeah. It does. I'm a plus it's like six. We all... Does this huge ass log just cannon <laughs> straight through as it does? Doof, smacks Fane. Fane, 360 sees little Tweety Birds as it does, bounces off the wall, smacks Clifton in the face. Clifton recoils, smacks back his head. Boof smacks Melano. Melano, head off the wall. Log spins her round as it does her hand. Boom! Backhands poor Exodus. You all take oh. six bludgeoning damage. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Did you take six off yourself there, Clifton? I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to okay. do that right now. Let's go. What? Question, would a, uh, 14 would have made it? Or no? DC 15. Ah. Uh, DC 15. Well, at least you still have, at least you still have, wait, no, Fane, you had guys that... That's only for uh, ability. Not, not, not on a saving oh, yeah, throw. Never mind. Blessed is for never your mind. saves. Alright, I'm into yeah. Never fucking mind. I'm, damn it, thank you, Melanie. So, I'll let you know right now, 20 was to, dis was to perceive the trap. Mm. I have less to oh my goodness, no. Twenty to perceive yeah. fifteen to dodge. I should have given him less, but like that's like one of the few spell slots <laughs> I have left. The imagery of used just headbutting each other though. Like the chain reaction was just hilarious. Comedy, me and Renard's just standing at the corner like Audible <laughs> tots. Okay, um... Well, that was that. Uh, the log just- the log just did the I forget the basketball player's name, but the log just did the fucking no no no. Not in my <laughs> house. Let's uh... <laughs> now, now that we're over that, let's uh... Let's keep on going, guys. The log was like the magic bullet. It's somehow. It's not like it's not like there's two logs, right? I mean, 
the only way to find out is to walk walk ahead. I'm gonna I'm gonna step and then I'll just be like, what? Deck saves. There's oh, one. fucking Bond hell! Hammer. I've Clifton and Exodus deck saves. Oh. Wow. Oh. I was smart. <laughs> Can, can they have an advantage because they know it's coming? <laughs> I they know it's coming the, and they still stood on it. <laughs> I invoke the name of God. I was joking. <laughs> I didn't know where it was. As you watch as the next I, one comes down, as it does fires, as Clifton immediately spins as he does, grazes the shield, the log, which was on a straight forward, now spinning, just boom. Smacks Exodus in the face. He's seen little Tweety Birds takes four bludgeoning damage. The log yeah. shatters on the wall on the back. Exodus starts crawling. <laughs> yeah, I'm just I'm I'm a, I'm a, I'm a zoom zoom and yeah. He's just gonna start army crawling. If you get the if, if you get the hiccups as an adult, does that mean you're growing as a person? As you lie here, you hear the <laughs> log shatters on the wall. Okay, so uh, just miss uh, just army crawl, guys. Yes, that's right, Melano. Get on the floor, and mess up your pretty white robes. You uh, <laughs> Mona has white robes. Why did that sound so dirty? It yeah. did. It really did. I'm not Ross Army Crawl, and I play, I played her uh, character uh, briefly, and she has white robes of high sorcery. And you just crawl over Renard first. You hear that, <laughs> and then she passes over for Mel, and you hear that, ching. <laughs> Ran out of logs. Okay, open the ah! You open this door, this room is constructed of large stone blocks, buttressed in the corners. Shirt? The stone walls are wet and slimy and covered in mud, as is most of the floor with a thin coating. This floor would be classed as difficult terrain, where you to take the dash action, you would need to make a dex check first, or fall on your ass. Oh, what else we got here? Hold on. To the That's east it. and west, may be seen some stone doors recessed in the wall. To the north, a set of stairs leads down. In the centre of the chamber is a large polished boulder amid a pile of small rocks around it. The boulder is five foot tall and coloured brown with dark streaks and spots. Leaning against it is what appears to be a bamboo staff. In the mud around the base of this boulder moving is a shape. As it comes into view, you see it is a large crayfish. It looks at you. It is aware of you. Where are we about to cook you? As it looks, the claws come up and you hear. <coughs> but it doesn't move. Mm -hmm. It just stands there menacingly. Wee wee wee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wee woo wee woo. Stay right here. Stay right here. Yeah. I'm gonna take a step forward. <laughs> it's a shrimp. It's a shrimp, guys. Melano, I I I don't know if you want to like cook this thing from over my shoulder. Yes, yes, seafood. Yes, by all means, fireball, no, fireball, the crap out of that room. I heard Rude grabbing a snack right now. I was asking if he was great grabbing a seafood. Grabbing a snack real quick. I mean, like you gotta, you gotta have the, the sides. Uh, now that, now that ain't shrimp. That's lobster. That's crayfish. Whenever I step yeah, in the room, get a lobster, do same it. thing. What was that, Jalen? Whenever I step into the room, does it do anything? The claws are still raised, snapping away, and you see the... 
It doesn't move towards you, but it's gonna just claws up, waving them menacingly. Mm. He'll, he'll, give, he'll give us the pitches. Um, Put the clamps on him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get the clamps on it. You ever have the clamps put on you? It's not fun. Does he have crabs? <laughs> Are crayfish? The crustaceans? I know that much. Why is it not attacking us? You sound like kind of low. It's, Maybe yeah, it has an uh, aggro range, specific range for aggro. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like it's defending. Like whenever something ha like stuff is like it's like defending like its child or something. Maybe it's defending itself from being eaten. Maybe it knows. Um, I mean, it's like. I love how the faint tokens upside down. Yeah, I mean, I don't know he's the correct side up. <laughs> he's the correct side up. <laughs> Wait, no, he is not. <laughs> okay, um. Yeah, it's like he's protecting something, guys. He's bolder, maybe? That's Maybe that's his home? Oh, why would he be protecting? a boulder it's that's dumb <laughs> like, i'm sorry maybe there's something else in the room i can't see it i, I step around just to, like look at the the rock is there something with this rock rock is smooth it is streaky rock. spotty let's hit like it with a rock. fireball and let's get out of here Oh. oh, so so we're actually running this time. Wait, what, let's let's just try to try to get around it, I guess. And if he doesn't attack us, we're cool. Let's try to go in the door to the east first, I guess. There's a door to the east. Yeah, yeah. that one. Remember, okay, the, I, remember the way close met. Oh no no no! What I'm saying is, like, right. I couldn't I couldn't see. It's it's ah. it's it's beyond my sight. Well, just beyond, but not very far. Holds one claw towards the part, and you watch as the other one seems to be moving towards the direction of Fane at the same time. The crayfish doesn't seem to move its body as a whole; just these two. Claws. I've never seen a crayfish. Do crayfish even have fucking claws? They do. Get a get a lobster, you know. He's like just like okay, okay. He's just like, okay, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. He's gonna go over this way. You're going the All right. claw seems to follow, but the body only moves slightly, just enough to facilitate the claw. Okay, I'm gonna. What open. do crayfish eat? I'm fucking not. <laughs> Very small fish, maybe? Alexa, what do crayfish eat? What I do? Crayfish eat aquatic vegetation, detritus, small fish, aquatic insects, and snails. Was that helpful? Yes, no. thank you, Alexa. Thanks for your feedback. <laughs> so yeah um vegetables and snails they're french um escaco <laughs> you have any small fish <laughs> or snails <laughs> okay let's see if you can open the door <laughs> without it attacking you I'll take a pull at it. Yep. Yeah, place your hand on the door. 
Do door you... not within Finn's reach or is locked. Mm, doors within your reach, my friend. It's right here. Mm. Place your hand on right. the door. Opens into a long corridor. Okay, he's just very protective of that. He, uh, Fane says a lot. He's just very protective of the rock. Just move along the edges of Praise the, the really log. Quiet. Praise the the boulder, right? Yeah, it's set yeah, the water, man. Go, it's not just a go along, Just go along the outsides of the room and he shouldn't bother us. It's not just a boulder. It's, it's a rock. rock. Nah, it's oil. Oh, oh get it. the hell. It's Texas. Oh, sorry, maximum red five global maximum interaction. Okay. Hopefully, uh. So Man, I hope this works. There we go. Yeah. As you all start, you know, moving towards the crayfish. Let's just start turning and still giving the hands and the, the noises, but doesn't remove itself from center mass of the room. It's crazy, because how long has he had to be alive? Because this place is ancient. idea I will say I am tempted to cast comprehend languages but I won't, wouldn't be able to talk to him anyway just understand him try to do that <laughs> I want to see what his deal is about yeah but it's only for an hour and it's once a day so if we Maybe can't cross something that we that we need to understand but we but can't comprehend languages wouldn't work anyway it's, it's an animal you need like speak to animals <laughs> Ah, okay. Never mind. I think. Does it sound like he's speaking a spoken language, or is it just, you know, noises? Noises. Okay. It makes noises. It it turns stone. <laughs> oh, fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> didn't you didn't you hear? Turns, it turns stone. <laughs> Did you not sad. listen to the man? It turns stone. <laughs> the walls of this corridor are wet and slimy. The stucco covering has become saturated with water and is decomposing a slaw a slothing off in spots in the southern wall. Exposed are the seams of a once large stone block from which the structure of this wall was built. So the temple was made in the rock. It wasn't built. It was made from the rock itself. Someone's translated an AD and D adventure here. They've used really weird words. I would have just said, "You see a rock in the door. You see a rock well, on the wall." How many times did you touch that? How many was that? Three times you tried to unlock that there? I'm sorry. Yeah, take three. At first it was damage. like... No! Stop! As you touch it and every time you do, it seems to burn. It's... You can tell that it is a very, you know... A light... A different type of rock material from the rest of the wall. With its own natural defences, shall we say. Mm hmm. I'm gonna continue down the hallway, I guess. That door's locked, guys. Not a door. It's just a rock, and I forgot to put a secret wall on it. It should be a Is secret it? door. <laughs> oh yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's not meant to be a door. It's meant to be a secret wall door thing. The fact that it looks off is supposed to be... I, like, I prepped this over a year ago, alright? I prepped this when I started <laughs> doing Dragonlance. I've learned since then. I've grown. Um... It doesn't look like that is a way that we can go, guys. It looks caved in. The staircase only goes up a few steps, and then it seems the rest has been filled with clay and stone rubble. 
Another cave-in, perhaps. Right. So, so back to the back to the crawfish. Oh, we don't but, notice that door there, do we? No, you notice very much that it is a different stone. Whilst all of this oh. stone seems to have decoration, this is completely flat and smooth. And you touching it in comparative to the rest of the wall, it burn, but the rest of the wall don't. Uh. Oh my god! It burns stone. It burn. It burns stone. Yeah, it, it, it burns stone. <laughs> burn stone, hurdy. The temple collapses. You all die. Uh oh. <laughs> Ooh, the crayfish moved around <laughs> a bit. Yeah. I thought I made that clear. I, I just not. noticed. And your passive perceptions of thirteen. Sorry, I I wasn't looking <laughs> at the screen. I'm joking. I'm joking. Okay, let's uh try the door to the north, I guess. So I'm just gonna go along the wall here, mining his space. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Come hey, to this door, you come up to the stairs, and you see there is a fair mound of dirt build up that is at least waist high, blocking the door. Uh, we gonna dig, or, or are we gonna. What are we gonna do? I guess I'm trying to move the dirt. Alright. Roll a strength check. No, I'm the strongest in the party. How big? How big is the um, dirt? Dirt. Waist high. So. My God. Like four. Is, the, how how much cubic <laughs> foot feet is that? <laughs> so we try. Oh. Go, go ahead. Oh damn. Mm. That's two ones in a row. That's crazy. Turnstone. See, I got a. This connects to another area, and then these connections. It's like, ah, oh, just jump back and forth in the book, mate. Clifton just whimpers and tumbles down because he tweaked his back. So here we go. Um, the depth is eighteen, about eighteen to twenty-four inches, and it has. The consistency of quicksand when scooped. It's semi liquid. But yeah. I was being to clean. Yeah, no, I, I'm talking about that as well. Up. Not about that as well, but yeah. yeah da, 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 this will remove how much? One cubic foot. One cubic foot. <laughs> I gotta do the fucking math now. A foot is twelve inches. There's too much. Okay. It's about half a square, which is two and a half. Then you've got your twelve. Then you've got like. Isn't five. that presidential station? Yes. Yeah, she just keep, couldn't she just keep casting it? don't think that's how the spell's intended to work. No. Like it can move one cubic feet. But be there a while. Do my math. Here. Um, 18 by... Oh shit, hold on a minute. My channel divinity. On a 12... Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna gonna do do back. No, I'm gonna say I'm gonna gain some spell slots. This one with it. Sixty inches. No higher than my proficiency bonus rounded up. That's plus three, so Oh half my proficiency bonus rounded up, so that's two. So what can I do with second level spell slots? I can do a good bit. So it'd be too much. You'd be, you would be there 
wait some time. Had to do it, you're looking at 18 inches deep by 60 inches by 12 inches, which is a lot more than one cubic. So six inches is one cubic. Six inches is one foot. No, sorry, twelve inches is one foot. Okay. Mm -hmm. You've got something that's eighteen inches by sixty inches by twelve inches. So you've got in total here. I don't even fucking know what 60 foot. I don't even know what 60 <laughs> inches and to the 60 inches. To, I was great at converting it one way. Ah, uh, 12. 60 inches is, is five feet, five isn't foot, it? Yeah, five foot, because five times 12 is Five 60. foot, yeah. So you got five foot running. I'm going to draw it in here. So you got five foot running this way. So you got five foot running oh, this oh. way. In uh -huh. terms of like how deep it is that way, you know, your depth going forward, you've then got 18 inches on your horizontal or your vertical, 18 inches up and down. And then you've got one and a half foot of overall top. So it's like a very long, it's like a fence essentially, like a very long fence. I suppose like be the wording that we had described. You want what does the door look made of? Stone. Okay. Hey, guys, we still gotta remove this mud to get through the door. Alright, I'm gonna yeah, I think my back's better. Um is there anything I can use as a tool? Uh I can use my shield to, to kind of dig it out. Let me see if I have a a shovel or Bobble? something in my shield. Yeah. I have random shit in here. I'm okay with using my shield if we don't have it. I have mason's tools if that helps. You have mason's tools. Mm. I feel like that would that would help, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Um, uh, uh, for stone, maybe not for mud. Oh no. Well, I mean, if all it fails, we could always just break through the stone door. Mm -hmm. you have tr tried to use the fire. I, uh, I have a crowbar. Hammer, tender box, maps of my homeland, jewelry, Ken Fisher trophy <laughs> because to, I'm the king. That's the that, that's the devil because it sucks up the material <laughs> or some ten foot radius cloud of debris around itself, so I can suck the mud away. <laughs> You mm. use the far gab. I heard the words I'm using that. But use the far gab. It just hisses out. There is no reception. Would be the wording I'm using there. All right, I well, would take it away. You push the button. You hear your call cannot be reached right now. Please try again later. Boop boop boop. Then. All right. I guess shield it is. Another another strength check, Scottish, or is this athletics, or is it just strength? As you start digging at this with the shield, for every piece that you seem to cut out, by the time you turn round, it's like you never even made a dent. This shit oh. is is it's perpetual sludge. Do you know where the do we see where the extra sludge is coming from? All around the wet and sludgy room. I mean, it's specifically here. Yeah, it's it's, okay. mounded, it's mounded up there, and then it's kind of leading down. Ah, to, to so it's coming from beneath the from from this room. It's coming from this room. So if we manage to open the room, it would it would be good. You can ascertain there's a Maybe water source have... behind there feeding this. Yeah. Maybe if we had a water spell, we could dilute it. Wait, the previous door was unlocked, right? Yep. Like, wash it out? Can you yeah. guys move 
like away for a bit, just in just sure, in case sure, something sure. happens. Let's um, let's move. What are you gonna try? Uh, mage hand to open the door. Oh. You push on the door with mage hand. The door doesn't open this way. Can I push it open? That's the only way you could open it from this side, but it doesn't open that way. And then I pull it. There's no handle. Hmm. Very much akin to the door you came from. No ah. handle, but it's a pull. Whoever made this is a fucking sadist. Okay. Okay. There's uh, there's one more door that we can try, guys. This one down here. Hmm. Oh yeah, that is true. Until we figure out if that door is just like a no go or. Excuse me, pardon me, Mr. Crawfish. <laughs> he responds. He's just constantly moving and chattering as you open this door down. Do you see some 20, 25, 30 foot descending staircase? It leads to another door. Is this one is clean? Er? Ish? Er. Er <laughs> is the phrasing you're looking for. Is the suffix you were hoping to hear. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll uh, move that. It smells. Get on down. Get on down, down the road. Get on down, little doggies. Get on down. Get on down. Come on, get. Get. To it. <laughs> oh, what the hell. I've never been to there. Actually, I have. It was mm -hmm. called Avernus. Let's see. Checking my number. Yep. Cool, cool. This is yeah. such a built fucky weirdy. But yeah, you come down this set of... Partly muddy stairs, and as you do, flip and fall through the place. Come to a door. Another <laughs> door. This one, however, with a handle. No, 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 make sure to slip on the last stair. You open. We need this, this room right? is wet. The walls covered oh. with a slimy white buildup. There's about an inch and a half of water and mud blanketing the floor. Many overturned pedestals and pieces of broken statuary lie on the floor, partially buried in mud. Opposite the entrance to the room is another door. Only one pedestal remains standing in the northwest corner. It's a small metallic three-sided pyramid. Overhead, in the shadow-draped ceiling, or inlaid coloured tiles depicting a starry sky forming strange patterns above the pedestals. You look up. You also see by the other door, clinging atop, a heavy, dark, wet, green mass. Uh, it's a pudding? You said pudding? Oh my god, I love pudding. Oh my god, where is it? I was asking if it's a pudding. <laughs> it's above this door. Oh. Um. You guys want to try to go in there? Who wants yeah. to go first? I, th I think we should uh, draw straws. Um, I do not have a straw, so my straws aren't actually the shortest. What about you? I could I'm try opening the door with Mage Hand again to see what happens. We could do that. Sound to the side. The door opens, and you see an odd red and brown streak. It seems to. Oh my god, someone had diarrhea. Huh? Yeah, there was a shit joke coming in somewhere. <laughs> What's up with uh, this over here? This thing? 
You said there was a statue of a pyramid or something like that? Yes, a small pyramid shape. Mm. An obelisk? Now you're only looking about an inch by an inch. I'm uh, I'm gonna grab it, I guess. You can add a small pyramid made of silver to your inventory. Mm -hmm. What's that? Uh, one sec, one sec, one sec. Uh, there's something I have. There's something. Um, okay. Here it is. Hold on real quick, I'm, I'm being summoned. Ooh. Damn ninja contract! Right, I'm gonna quickly <laughs> grab, I'm gonna quickly grab a can of pit, uh, coke anyway, so take your time. Gonna um, kiss. I can still hear you. There it is. So about those mats, eh? Hmm. What do you think about those mats? The mats are pretty cool, I guess. I don't make this louder. Does the uh, link item get noise? Uh. Um, skip. so much. I'm going to play it every time Fane picks up something. <laughs> Was I? Oh, yeah. I oh. picked up a pyramid made of. Yep, and there was something else you were wanting to do. Go through this door. This ooze doesn't bother me. It seems like you're just gonna drop on my head and give me acid damage. <laughs> He's like, ah, I got you. You never seen me. I was here all along. Are you walking through the door or not? Sure, why not? Nothing happens. Okay. He's what just waiting for one of you guys. Last verse, same as the first. Roll an intelligence check. Nature, to be precise. Me? Yep. Okay. It's, uh, algae? Wet room. Oh. You know, these type of things are bound to happen eventually. God, guys, you're so paranoid. 
I love it. Or well, <laughs> wait, it looks it looks reddish, not brown. Maybe someone's menstruating. Ready, bro. Maybe someone's getting sacrificed in the room ahead of us. <laughs> we'll find out. Part of me is you come down this area here. I forgot to number it, but. <laughs> The walls and ceiling of this hallway are coated with slime, the floor passage covered with a layer of mud. Through this muck is a steady stream of water trickling northward. The stucco on the walls is flaking off. There are glowing silver tracks of slime that crisscross the walls and the ceiling. Along the eastern wall of this passage stands a 12 foot tall stone statue of a man. Outfitted with fine clothing, holding a stone tray in his raised arms, his eyes appear to be black gemstones. The right one drips out of its socket, balancing on the cheek. From behind the left shoulder protrudes the hilt of a weapon, most likely a sword. The stone tray, as well as the forehead and the nose of the statue, are chipped away and scratched. And I have four use. Another. And uh, mm. Is that the uh, thing that's in the alcove type area over there? Uh huh. Okay. Hey, buddy. You gaze upon the statue. It is a very, very tall statue. About 12 foot. I wonder. Um, does that sword on his back look like a real sword? Or is it like a piece of the... And gems for eyes? Gems for eyes. Yeah. I know the gems for eyes are real, but... I'm talking my, about... I'm here. talking about my notes, just... Okay. I'm gonna try to grab the sword, I guess. You are too small. You reckon, I'm too small. You reckon you would require a boost in order to get up there? Can I climb him instead? You would require a boost to even get oh. the tree. How about, how about this? Yeah. You get the eyes, I get the sword. <laughs> that was good. Okay. Sweet. Give him a boost. As you climb up onto Exodus' shoulder and a climb onto the tray, as you do. Whoa, you're falling. Gonna... Could I have a dexterity save? Yes, From both sir. you and Exodus. As the statue dexterity. starts to fall backwards. Exodus. Yeah, yeah, give me a second. What was that 12? Bean. Um, as you fall. Fall. Take seven bludgeoning damage. As you do, the statue <laughs> rumbles. Leaving behind a secret passage. Two gemstones. <laughs> And a sheathen longsword. Nope. Oh, um, I'm gonna grab the gems and uh, access the longsword. Yeah. I was, uh, can Renard heal me? <laughs> can Renard heal me? Oh, we already healed. We already healed, uh. Exodus. Okay. What were, what were those gemstones? The gemstones are two onyx. Sorry, two polished obsidian. Hmm. Okay. How much, how much healing do you need? A lot. How much is a lot? I mean, he's at half health, so... I'm uh, probably I'm less than half. The red is at my chin. I mean, if it says you're bloody, then... Yeah. You said obsidian, okay. Uh, 
I think just take a take a nap whenever you can. No, no, I, I'll give you the only healing spell he has. I uh, upcasted. I upcasted cure wounds. I'm doing it. But you got nine points of healing. Lovely. As you are given this long sword, Exodus. It's a very fine looking sword of laminated wood on its sheath. As you take the sword out and look up its sides, it's not just sharp, it seems to have obsidian teeth. Very small, very faint, almost inconceivable if not looking hard enough. Ooh. Let's see. Plus one long sword. Okay. Oh. Go this way, guys. Let's go on the secret passage. You know? And not not in the room that has blood leaking out of it. Yeah? Okay, yeah. Go ahead. We'll, and we'll, we'll follow if it's safe. Ooh. And then we hear a <laughs> <laughs> You fall about two hundred thousand feet. Oh no, I ain't cruel. <laughs> I won't send you back to Avernus just yet. Well, this mug really do give me Avernus face. Wait, yeah, you walk through this very fine and thin corridor. I need to get the map up to give you the numbering if there is one. Do, 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 do. There is a number. Water beads collect upon the walls of this narrow passage and the floor is cold and damp. A low ceiling only five foot tall further cramps this dark space. What are you doing, Jalen? Okay. Walking down the hallway. Wow. That's a long haul. That's weird. Hi. That's walking is, that like a, is that like a cutoff down there? Who knows? What's this? You see... A stone-mounted central pivot has been wedged partially open by accumulated debris. Hmm. Roll a perception check. Okay. Is, is that like... Are and those like, like, um, like those mirrors that, that turn light? That's like, like my third that one today. It's just a... Uh, um, a wall. <laughs> that's just, wall. yeah, that's, that's just a wall. Mm. A really hard wall right there, guys. See? Just a wall. Turn back around. Nothing to see here. Check. Alright. Hey, guys. Just a wall. Nothing to see here. Turn around. Go back the other way. Okay. Yep, just a wall. None else other than a wall, you know. <clears throat> just checking something just for my own benefit here now. Hidden shrine to Mo Chan. What what are we looking at here? Oh. Wow. Would anyone like to just have a little laugh at uh, Jalen's dismay? Yeah, sure. Ha 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 ha. Fuck you, Jalen. <laughs> <laughs> this um, this here adventure, what is is for level five player characters, and dear God, dear God, <laughs> these checks, Jalen. What's going on? 
Yeah, it just, it's just that one after that one. It's like my third one, probably in a row. <laughs> I don't know. It would have said so if it was in a row. <laughs> No, like literally, like my last one was like a two minus one, so it was a one, and the one before that wasn't. No, it wasn't. Deck save was a twelve, and then right before that, I had a, I had a one, and then after before that one, I had a one. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that was uh, that was one, and then another one, and then a twelve, and then this is my third net one. As you look upon this door here, it is also bronze, however, from the ground up, it is bluing. It goes from blue to bronze, you can tell that it's discolouring due to oxidation, and has been for some time. Imagine if it wasn't colouring, we'd all be dead by now. Uh, what are you doing there, buddy? So, uh, I'm, uh, wait, wait, waiting for Fan to do something. Wait for me to do something. You're at the door. Yeah, yeah but you <laughs> always you you been you, you going first. Sure, why not? I'm gonna the facto leader, the guy that just came back from the dead. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Inside the doorway are two small alcoves, each space containing an old fountain cracked and crusted with lime. Around the fountain in the eastern alcove is a heap of rubbish that litters the floor. The fountain in the western alcove holds some green scummy water. A short hall ending in a descending step leads towards the central chamber of this room which is flooded. A dark foul pool covers the entire floor. The central hall, flanked by a narrow aisles, is, definite, is defined by two rows of massive square columns. The walls are coated with slime and its glowing silver lines etched across them. From what you can see, these are the chamber stone walls and they are crudely worked. Two corroded bronze braziers stand in the pool. Towards the middle of the room, two broken urns, each apparently once four foot tall, poked up from the water, and the darkness on the eastern wall appears to be this enormous growth of greenish hue that gives off the slimy green trail. You watch as it plops off into the water. The water moves, as it does eventually comes up. This fucking <laughs> thing. Do we need to roll initiative? One sec, guys. I had to go to the bathroom quickly. Yep, that's right. This adventure is red. Like, look, look at what you see. Those, you see those yellow boxes, those, those pinky boxes. All right, the stuff underneath it is still additional shit. Yeah, they really did a great job with this one. See a ten foot wide section of flood that runs around the eastern ring. The walls are heavily coated with lime, which seems to be polluting the water. The phosphorus glow of this room is brought on by this huge slug. As it does you hear Oh, see how going to see what damn war I saw. What saying, Horn? Saying, Horn, girl. Like to point out that I'm not having a stroke right now. Mm. I guess now is the time to do comprehend languages. Should I make a check to see if that's just someone speaking backwards? Even I don't okay. know what I said. Them. <laughs> just making okay, noises. Okay, so, so no. So, no. Then. <clears throat> it does. 
you watch, is it? Moves forth. Wooden then, wooden getting that and broken. Wooden setting, wooden, wooden. What are you doing here? I'm, 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 I'm translating that. What's that? Hold on. Slug. Moving ever closer. The words get yeah, telling These are not telepathically spoken. These are spoken orally. Doesn't take a genius to know that slugs don't talk. You hear it shouting off some more. Before it's just seems to come on in as a ball, a blob, a mound. As it does. Watch this green globule smacks poor Fane in the face. And it's about that point that we roll in the ship. Yeah, Damn. Anybody said S cargo fuck yourself, that's crazy. If Fane is not here, so in this time we can all still do our rolls. I don't want to be on the fucking measurement tool. There we go. Well, well, well. Where's he at? Where's Jalen at? Tinkling like a princess? That was a natural 20. Damn, we rolling big today, boys. We're just waiting on Jalen. Go big or go home, right? I don't want to eat this thing. RJ. All right, we're back in business. We're rolling in a shift. You got money shot by a slug. I need a deck save from you. We got what by a slug? You got spot sure. on. Give me a deck save. That nice. one. <laughs> you take eight acid damage. Where's RJ? Mm. Who has control of the goddamn cleric? Technically me. You are also a goddamn cleric, then. Alright, deck save. You already made it. Okay. Let's, uh, you just need to roll the two initiatives, then we'll be good to go, my chief. Gotcha. And then yourself. You're already in the tracker. Am I? These big hovers fain. You watch as this both start burning away. Teku, teku zvi, teku. I will spell this out for you. I teku shit you not. Teku zis te kotel. Teku zis te kotel. Uh, I actually have it right here. Hey, I'll guess I'll move a bit and let's go with mine sliver for this for start. I'm just checking. Oh, 
all of our stuff. Go to go to go to cast on off the main sliver. It saves. Hi, Lauren back. I am looking for my headphone charge. That's me. Cool. Who's up next in this initiative order? So I charge my headphones. Uh, let's see. Who we got next? Uh, it's Clifton. Good. Clifton's going to, um. It's crazy that he's never used this. That's that's insane. Never used what? The his necklace thing. He only just got it last sessions. Oh, he did. Okay. <laughs> like, what? why hasn't he used it? That was his reward for getting two back-to-back -back amazing revivals. Okay. The man got and completed his personal quest in the same fucking session. Hmm. Okay, uh... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. You know, you know what I love about clerics, guys? It's a spiritual weapon? <laughs> no. They always use that, but that's not their best spell. Um, I'm gonna have him go 20. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna have him go 30. Mm-hmm. And then I'm gonna have him use that spell his next turn. But for now, I want him to heal me. Because I know it's ever so when you give two people. Two, I know, right? Two characters <laughs> and both of them can heal. All they do is they go, hmm, I have a pocket healer now. You notice that? I do, I do, I do. I do. You know? In my defense, listen, 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 in my defense, right? Isis was the only one that took damage for fucking with that portal and turning it off, okay? Everyone else was at full health. So what spell is, uh, Clifton using? Cure Wounds, I'll pop that on, you know, boom, boom, bang. 18 hit points as Clifton touches you and he says, show me on the doll where I shouldn't. Okay, okay. Did it now's your turn? Does Melon need healing? Mm, I'm still, like, fine. Okay. Um, yeah, that's it for Clifton. Exodus. I guess this will uh, rumble some up on in there. Sort out. Let's see it. Let's see it. 30. Baby. Booming Blade. Let's go. I'm also the only one within distance, so I get sneak attack. Let's see. All right, first attack. I mean, only attack, but let's let's see. 18. Hits. All right, and then I do sneak attack damage. Four, seven, eleven. And then boom, blade damage. Uh. So 11, 12, 13, 14. Yep, and then if it moves, it takes 11, and then I'm bonus action dashing. And I'm being a fucking douchebag. I'm getting right back there, and that's my turn. Okay. And it's your turn again. Okay, um. Not your turn. You know, oh, that was Fane's turn. No. Bernard. No, it's. Who's controlling no, it's Fane's turn. Yeah. Yeah. We hit the button at the same time. Yeah. Don't worry. Okay. We're going to go up here. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to... Uh... I'm going to do it fire this time. Mm -hmm. I believe it's... One... Best. And then... Uh... And then it's two... Best. And then that's when you see flurry of pulls. Yeah. Do I have heart bar for this? I do. Hmm. 
They both hit though. So, I'm gonna do those as fire damage. Yep, so 13 fire damage as you watch his Fane doesn't want to get his hands slimy at first, but realizes he's gonna have to as he speed bags the slug whose name I will not try and pronounce. <laughs> Did it announce your turn, my guy? That would be it for right now. Then it's Renard's turn. Alright, sorry about that. I zoned out for a second. I was like, Renard, okay, Renard's turn. He's up. Oh, right, John's not here. Alright, I'll move up. Bu -bu 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 -bu. Up. That's sadly 30 feet. Um, he will, though, use his action to. <laughs> Imagine. Hey, Clifton, you mind if I buy that sword from you? Yeah, I'll action dodge. But I'll, um... If if Fane gets hit, I'm going to use my thing. Or if Fane tries to get hit. Uh, I'm just trying to read how this ability works. I'm having trouble with what it. What one is it? The Vigilant Garden, Guardian. Because it's kind of off my screen. Alright, uh, Vigilant Guardian... When a creature you see within five foot of you is hit by an attack roll, you can use your reaction to swap places with the creature, and you get hit. You take the hit instead. <laughs> Once you use a straight, you cannot do it again until a long rest. Uh I'll hold on to that then. Yep, I'll use uh, action dodge, and that'll be my turn. Okay. Then, that's the name I'm going to call it. You watch it kind of jumps into itself before immediately coming out and as it does smacks twice Fane then Renard uh does he hit me no he nat ones you I love that I love that for me and he 13s for Renard so does miss it smell it all e. fireball sure fireball <laughs> no. Fireball! Fireball! Mm. It's that one pit bull song that goes fireball. Chaos Bolt. At second level. Okay. Chaos Bolt's the one with the damages. So you fire off a 14 well hit. I hate how this one reads so much. 2d8 plus 1d6. So both d8s are the same. I am loving this way. Let's see. Choose one of the d8s and the number rolled in that die determines the attack. So uh, your 2d8s are 2 and a 3. Uh, 2 and a 3? Where? Uh, 2 and a 3. And oh. the weapon and the damage. Ah, okay. So that's cold and fire. So pick one and it does that damage. Um, six cold, three fire. It's overalls, so I believe it's only um. Where's that additional d6 comes from? You upcasting, so it determines the attack damage type. So you either do fire or cold. Cold. Cool. Yep. I'm gonna fire that off as you watch as it gets really chilly on the creature. And around its edges, the slime seems to crystallize. Did I answer your turn? Nope. Clifton. Moving backwards. I could hear the man shouting. If I found it, here it is. That's all. Oh, okay. We'll we'll do Clifton. Clifton's going to run in. 
and he's going to do death touch. Oh. Is there a reason why he's conserving this spell slot? The level is up. Four. So he can cast he has all he has all of the horrible curses. Just <laughs> Um he cast what no, he, he cannot cast Revivify because that's not a fourth level spell slot. Or that is a third level spell slot. I think he was keeping it open so he could upcast it maybe, I don't know. Revivify? Yeah. Oh, it doesn't need to be re upcast at all, ever. But, but he doesn't have a third level spell slot. He does. Inflict wins. Ah, I was looking for a spell called Death Touch. <laughs> oh, no. Um, I wish that was not an 8 to hit. Well, you know, it's okay. It misses. It does. Did anything else for your turn? Uh, uh -uh. Exodus, everyone oh, is up in there now doing shit. Yeah, I just would have asked if you can move like five feet to the right. Uh, yeah, I'll move Clifton. Can I do that? Yep. You want to move him? Yep. Boom, yep. Alright, sweet. 15 here. That's cool. Yeah. 1530 Action booming blade. I don't even have to uh, say it at this point. Miss. Ooh, miss them. Most action dash. That's all she wrote, folks. Is she sprint away? Did it announce her time? No, that's it. Ben. Okay. Um, we're gonna hit him again with these fists of fury. Oh yeah. Twenty, yeah. Fourteen, yeah. Those are both fire damage, and then I was just normal bonus action smack him with a fist. Okay. Then yeah, that will hit for. Six, five, and six, five, six. So twelve, twenty-one total fire damage. Did anything else return? Yeah, that's it. Renard. Renard. No, Renard gonna get up in here. And he's gonna give it the good old, you know how it is, the, the, what's it, what's it to you? What Renard does best, you know? I would yeah. Enjoy. Yeah, first one. Let's see it. 16 hits. Hell yeah. And then second one, let's see it. That's maximum and minimum damage at the same time. <laughs> 22 hits, total of 23, 4, 5, 6 damage, 26 damage. Did I announce your turn? Are you not entertained? Um, you want. Nah, that, that's gonna be it. Alright. Then. So we will. <coughs> Well, just make two attacks, one against Clifton and one against Fane. I just don't know why I was about to say Jainard. If it uh, if it hits me, I want to parry it. Clifton miss nineteen to hit yourself. Okay, one sec. It's, uh, Perry coming in. Uh... So, wait, hold the fucking bus, what? 
When you da -da -da -da, you can use your reaction to expend one superiority die to reduce the damage by the number you roll on your superiority die plus your dexterity modifier. Okay. Superiority die is a d8, d6. I think a d8. I'm gonna just re roll it on my superiority to die. You said a d8? Uh, it looks like it's a d6 right now. d6, and that's plus 3. So you roll a d6, you get to add your con, so... My dex. So to your AC, you're adding that, which then misses. It was a 19 to hit. Yep. Melanoff. Yay. I'll do a firebolt. Yar yar. Uh -huh. I don't know if he's going to fire that one off, just the bolt for a total of whatever that number is. 21. It ain't, it ain't salt, but it fucks it up nonetheless. And now he comes back. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I am, I am dizzy. Um, I had to help, with, I had to help somebody with something and I think I did something wrong. Because I feel, I feel, feel off. I I need to sit down. Um, but uh, is everybody okay? Does anybody sure. want control of uh, Clifton? Jalen's already got control. control. Yeah, yeah. Um, control and Clifton. How did I get the spell slot back? Oh wait, oh never mind. I did get those back. You just used one. Never mind. Mm-hmm. Did you use my fourth level slot? You said your fourth level slot. Yes, I did. I I did use that. My apologies. Well, I hope you, don't have, any, you don't have any spells prepared in the fourth level, so I was like, "Why is he holding this?" I do. I have Death Ward and Guardians of Guardian of Faith. Oh, those are innate. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, your superiority dies actually a D8. Okay. So I'll change that just now. I'm gonna. Oh, I'm gonna sit down. I'm. I'm. I want to lay down, but I don't think I'm gonna pass out if I do. Um. What were you doing, if you don't mind me asking? I was, I was, uh... I... It, it has less to do with what I was doing, and more to the to the effect that I'm on a new medication, and okay, okay. One, of the, one of the side effects, um... You know, very fun that ADHD medication is a stimulant, and it actually makes you sleepy sometimes. I feel mm -hmm. that. It's not really a bad thing, it's just, I'm like, I, 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 of course, get a little tired since I'm very new to it. Um, I'm getting less and less tired, um, I, I, after, like, the doses are kind of wearing off, but and here the it is okay. It's a water. The giant snail slug, giant slug, dead. This water is about waist high for those standing in it. Okay, um... um... I start walking forward, I guess, just until it gets a little bit too deep. You know what remains about the same overall? It's just slosh on through it. What are these white things right here? Vases. Vases? Vases. Okay, I'm gonna grab one. Well, what, what's in it? If I can check. Pull the vase to look in. It breaks away from its bottom half with relative ease. Roll me an investigation check. Okay. Invest, invest, investigation, and, 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 and. intimidation, investigation. As you hold this half of the vase in your hand, you can see that from where it's silver and then it starts to get green and green it also seems to get thinner and thinner and thinner and become a lot more coarse and fragile you're standing in a very very light acid hmm. so it looks 
that's when you realise it's kind of tickling your legs. It doesn't hurt what? right now, but it's ever present. I'm gonna wade through the water as fast as I can to get to this other side. What happens if I freeze it? Like in this thing? <laughs> Will it still hurt? It would be hard to freeze as it's too acidic now. It's not so much water anymore. Okay. Alright. Remind the door. Come on over, guys. It's cool. Just go straight through it. No detours. Another blue oxidized, oxidized door. And I'll bring. Where's Clifton? Good. He's over here. Oh, I just can't see him. That's why. Can you uh, bring him into the light so I can drag him in? Thank you. Oh, I can just click right here and take control of his character. I also technically have control of Melano because I played her last. <laughs> Like the Dungeon of the Mad which made the game, everyone's got control of another character. <laughs> <laughs> the Ronin bone's okay. connected to the Richard bone. <laughs> Gonna open it up, I guess. Yeah. So you open this door. You see, once more, leading down a passageway of slain covered stream of water trickling away. There's condensation on the walls, the door, the ceiling, some of which drips down on you. A quiet dripping and splashing echoes in the corridor. I wonder what turned the water red over there. What's going on with Bernard? Just... Who? Bernard? Oh, oh! I sorry, that, like I was saying, I I, uh, I got a phone call out of oh. my sleep doctor place. Yeah. Just come on in. This is a very slight incline that you just walk up. It's easily perceivable, but it's not what you would class as uphill. More like a very light disabled ramp would be the wording. Would you, it would be the way I'd describe it if we're making an IRL comparison. Mm. It's coming up to another door. You hear from behind it this dripping. Not a bit more of a This door is not locked, but very, very, very heavy. As you push on the door, it kind of opens. Just this little bit. You feel you are making some form of effort, but something holds back. Something pushes back. I'm going to use... Guidance for himself. And strike. Ability. Hi, hello. It didn't nope. really help. You fish. Nothing. The water keeps dripping. Yeah, I, I had more of a did you, uh, want to try Exodus? Oh. Try, uh... Push it on it? Yep. I'm not that strong. Renard would... I am that strong. And he would go to push it. Be strength or athletics, whichever one is 
that with some modifiers. Let's me look. Athletics, easy peasy. You push and push and push. You just about get it before the door slams shut once more. And you hear this behind. Ooh. Oh shit. Alright, how about Finn, you you come in here and help me push it while I'm pushing. It just you just sounds like there's a lot back there. Yeah, you try to squeeze through while I'm pushing. Okay. There you go. I'm also helping. Ayo. Alright, I'll roll again. Yeah, I'll try to get through, I guess. So do I have advantage and guidance on this? Yeah, if Fane's mm -hmm. helping you, you have advantage and then you have guidance as well. Over over, hit that plus. 22 plus guidance. Ooh. You push mm. on the door and push and push and push. Have you ever seen The Shiny? No. No. There's this beautiful scene in The Shining where there's a long corridor and an elevator. And just as the elevator opens, a torrent of pure red flesh, fresh blood rushes down through the corridor. Well, for you, that's water. And as you push, the thing that's been pushing back is water and as you open this door i need everyone to make a fucking deck save right now <laughs> oh no everyone gets a plus two because of yeah i've also i've also posted the scene as a gif right now but imagine that a hundred times worse let's see Ben. I'll uh In fact, I'm gonna ask, um Sorry, I said Dex. This is technically strength. I'll just work your modifiers as is really quickly though. Uh strength save Fane has a plus two as opposed to a plus six. That's a nine. Melano. Mm-hmm. Only loses one for a straight 19. Clifton is the same number regardless. Exodus. A whole lot worse. Exodus loses. Like, like. Exodus is technically a four. Renard gains. So, everyone who failed, which is essentially everyone born Melano. <laughs> what? <laughs> takes, oh, oh, takes 11 bludgeoning damage. Thanks so much. And as the doors open, the deluge of water rushes through and you are swept off your feet down through the corridor back into the acidic waters. Melanol braces against it, holding, drenched down, panting. Where the fuck did everyone else go? Melon, as you look, the room Guys. in front of you, 20 foot by 20 foot by 20 foot, 20 foot cubic, 20 cubic feet of water has just made its way down 
through this particular area. Okay. And you have survived. Yay! Washed. Washed. If this water, if this uh, isn't completely flooded by now, we're gonna make our way back. You can. You are all just drenched head to toe. That was a nice water slide. Oh, I'll man. A bit, but I'll survive, you know. Is this where the slanted thing led to? Yep. Oh. He's come into this 20 foot cubed chamber. You can see the water still drips down. The question you really should ask is how the fuck did that get filled with 20 foot of water? Mm. Open next door now. He's like the single token. Uh. Beep, boop, boop. So you open the door. Hello. See a corridor. You see the wedged stonework that you saw prior. This corridor here leads up, strewn with mud and flotsam. Water accumulates in the centre of this corridor and flows westward to where the stone block in the southern wall has been shifted out of place. The corridor turns north and the flow of water follows it, then goes under the door, bronze bound. Made of wood that you have just walked out of. Hmm. Yeah. So, if, sorry guys, it wasn't just a wall. You know, my bad. It looked pretty wally to me, you know? Um. Yeah. I'm gonna head down this way, I guess. Come to another door made of wood. Not much of a motif on it. How do you open that door at curiosity? With my hand. Quietly, violently. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, quietly, I guess. So you open the door. You hear the faint, melodious sounds from ahead. It's first difficult to ascertain what was going on through the dripping cavern. As you see, sitting on a beached end in front of a crystalline pool is a woman, young, slim, long golden hair, pale white skin. She radiates softly a silver light, even through her shawl. White as froth waves. She sings a strange melody in an unrecognizable language. Uh, I um, hold a hand for everybody to take back just until I figure out, you know, if this person is dangerous or not. I uh, feign to step into the room and softly close the door behind him. You just really. I only know so much of Quiet's melody from Metal Gear, right? But it's only humming. Apart from. <laughs> but that just seems out of place. There's, um, there's this one. There's this one really creepy um, song that I used for. Uh, a campaign that I ran a while ago, and it, it just happened with these uh, with my party. They came on, came into a clearing, and the clearing had a huge uh, a lake, and there was a child sitting on a rock in the middle, and they were singing some song. And I'm like, uh, if I can play it for you, Scottish, you said and she was singing. Quiet. Yeah, it's called the Song of Genesis. That sounds familiar. Yeah, it probably is. Yeah. You hear oh, her yeah. humming. Sorry. 
<laughs> then you it's just everything's trying to but okay Um, Fane's gonna, <clears throat> he's gonna wave. She turns and she looks, she smiles <laughs> before just lashing through into the water. Without a splash, just as in and under. And the second she goes into the water, you lose sight of her. Mm -hmm. I uh, open the door for my party members to come through. Hey. Um. She went in the water. She turned stone. She turned stone. <laughs> Here, this splashing once more in the water. As you see hands coming up and out, like a backstroke before on the stone and up once more immediately twisting sits back down the woman she looks red <laughs> I'm gonna step back <laughs> starts waving or oh, shyly Starts beckoning slowly and shy, giggling to herself, that nervous, giddy laugh. Like a schoolgirl crush. Um, Melano, is this uh, serious enough to use comprehend languages? Talk to this lady. Mm. It's not serious enough, I think. Always never trust someone that's, that sings and lure, lure, tries to lure, lure you into the water. Mm. I guess. But it's just like, she's kind of cute though and takes a step forward. <laughs> Watch this. This happens and... She stands at the water, tall as she is, still looking round, humming her song. Giddy. She takes a step forward to herself. She does, places out her hand, humming her song. Mm -hmm. Um, I've been on the sea before, right? I, I'm I'm a swash, but my my backstory is pirate related. I've I've you, ran into these type of creatures before. You are very much aware that this mm -hmm. creature is known as a nerid. Ah, mm. I know Greek mythology. I know this shit. They are fae creatures. Basically, they're sirens, just... Known to be chaotic. But... I don't want to use the wrong word. Malevolent is bad, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Not malevolent. Benevolent? Not malevolent. Chaotic? Ambivalent? Yes. I don't know the opposite word. Benevolent. Benevolent. Let, let's go with that. They are nice. They're nice. Not like not like the the sirens use actually fought. 
Right. I'll take the hand then. Do it. Gee. Shit. Starts to interlock her fingers into yours and starts rubbing her thumb on the ball of your hand and your palm. Palming away. She brings your hand closer to her. Humming, she stares into your eye. <laughs> the other hand makes its way over your shoulder and everyone watches as the finger runs up your arm. Up your <laughs> chin. Lifts the mask ever so slightly. I'm going to grab Exodus and pull him all out of her grasp. Make a strength check on that one there. Okay. She's essentially interlocked the hands, so if you pull them away and she. face turns and she jumps back into the water once more this is the what was that for i don't i don't know man it's creepy let's go that's how they communicate that's how they kill or drown <laughs> Uh, they're not like that. Mm. They're fey. They're not secret. They're you know. Yeah, I, mean, I heard <laughs> plenty of stories of fey eating children. So that's you know that's only some fey. <laughs> you know, that's so kind of racist. Not not all fey. Yeah, not There's all fey. Not all fey. Can't spell fey just, without just, fey. Just a just a decent amount of them. <laughs> No, it's not all of them, though. Come to this door once more. It is closed. No, uh, I give it a. I'm gonna have uh, Clifton give it a push because he's stronger. Because this I was the blocked off door. I have lockpicks. This was the blocked off door. Remember. The mudded up door. Yeah. So I'm gonna give him a strength. I'm gonna have him do this first. And then I'm gonna have him do boop. It's gonna push on the door. It opens boop. about two fingers worth. As you can tell it is being stuck on the dirt. Does a D4 help? <laughs> no. No, it's not. Can I say I'm helping him? Yeah, it's already been made, Chief. Chief. Where is there to go other than wh where we have already went. there I saw a door over the water with the netite. There's a door in there? Didn't you see it? Or were you too, or were you too busy ogling there? <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was busy ogling, you know. <laughs> if, that, if that was king, he'd be dead by now. Just kidding. There is a door. Oh my god. <laughs> I believe I called dibs. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to go in that water. I don't. I'm gonna have uh, I'm gonna have Exodus go in there. Watch without a sound. Almost inaudible. You see, as the two hands break the surface tension of the water, 
Nerid comes back up, arms on the beach, legs kicking in the water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gone, foul creature. The fingers and hands start beckoning once more. The shy schoolgirl looks. The crush type behaviour. And she laughs. Okay. And seems to play with her hair. Don't I speak? Don't doesn't Fane speak Sylvan? Elvish? No, he doesn't. It's one of my characters speaks Sylvan. One of them. Elvish, Draconic, Common, Infernal. That's still. I'll give you a moment to uh think. Um, I just burned myself by accident, so I have to be right back and wash Ooh, my hands. But, um... You were gonna burn yourself messing with that Nerid. But the... I just would have explained that the Nerith is, you know, non... Genuinely non-aggressive. Are they? Yeah, if that was Nerids explained to are, me. If Nerids are other, those other things... Oh, what is it, a harpy? Nerids are different from sirens. Are they? Mm -hmm. Name five differences mm -hmm. right now. <laughs> well, sirens have more of a bird and fish-like texture to their skin. And as you can see, the, the Nerith is more of a... Um... It can also be disguising as herself to look like a Nerith. Yes, 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 yes. Is she under any kind of illusion? No, you can tell. I can tell? Not that you can tell. Okay, so I need to make an in intelligence check. See if there's a, an illusion on her. Right? Yeah. Straight intelligence or any kind of other attributes? Arcana? Okay. No. Nope. I'll be honest, I was really hoping to say yeah and follow it straight up by nope. <laughs> but an eight. <laughs> Fucking ancient Greek. Double Dutch. Hmm. She Alpha and Omega smiles and waves and points to you laughs and beckons. That is a door over there, right? It looks very yes, much like a, a door. door, half sunken, but a door. Um, going to speak to the to the narrator, and Fane's gonna say, "Uh, I need to get over there," and he's just gonna point to the door. She looks at you, <laughs> looks at the door, back at Exodus and Melano. Now, whenever you go into here, it's is it deep? Yeah, you are immediately plunging into five foot of water. Okay. But can you swim? I don't want to swim. Mm -hmm. I don't really want to swim. Mm -hmm. One sec. What do I have on my sheet? She stands up. No, don't do that. She does. <laughs> Holds a hand out in the direction of Exodus and Melanol. 
Yeah, since she's not paying attention, I'm just gonna. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. With this passive perception, she's paying attention, mate. Uh -huh. I am not coming near. You don't think it's weird that she knows when you're close? <laughs> Watch this dripping wet. She places her hand out. <laughs> Do I know anything about these creatures? They are fae. This is really what you would know based mm -hmm. on your fae connection. But um, you are a man of the forest and this is a thing of the sea. I thought Qual Nesty was right next to me. <laughs> thing of the moon. <laughs> <laughs> it's, that's, a really, mate, that's a really big region. That's over a thousand miles. Is it? Mm. In accordance with the map, that's. Let me see. Uh, let me get up the poster map if I correct me if I'm wrong. But that's um a hundred. The Qualinesti is at its shortest, seventy-five miles from the city <laughs> to the port. Mm. I'm alive. yourself the nerd back up standing in the water hands out towards yourself and melano humming away go ahead man she's calling you he's gonna say the exodus have fun she totally wants you man all right inside checker yeah who wouldn't be that like you because I, I do notice that this this music isn't drawing us like in specifically it's not like a a mental hold over us. Where is it? Um, 21. That's for Exodus. <laughs> <laughs> Persuasion. On you go, man. On you go, by all means. Go ahead, man. She wants you. She is beckoning. It is in desperation. Her intent, her intent, however, still not too clear. She's very much... I'm going to use some weird terminology on this one. She's very much projecting this almost innocent, aloof, I don't know what's going on. I need a big strong man to take me to my beddy weddy. Oh no. I can't breathe underwater. She's gonna kill me. I'm gonna get death by snooze, dude. <laughs> Is there any way I could breathe underwater? What do I have that would allow me to breathe underwater? Here's what I will say as well, for you notice that she's projecting both to you and Melano simultaneously. Oh. I forgot, I actually am exhausted, so what do I have? Half my movement speed? Uh, you okay. actually have that insight check at disadvantage. You're right. Five. Take everything I said and forget it. Alright. She wants me. <laughs> I'm walking I'll, forward. I'll let you know. I'll let you know right now. 20. 20? I got 20. Uh, dirty 20, 17. It was very close. The difference was quite literally one. And then it was disadvantage. So, uh, yeah. However, we'll still say... You know, still has that. I need a big strong he will we will. No, mm. uh, I guess I get you. No, come over here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not coming here. <laughs> Listen, that attitude, you're not coming at all. Go ahead. I said that. Excellent. She wants you, man. He says that in character. <laughs> <laughs> that was what the persuasion was for. She 
once more grabs your hand, interlocks the fingers, runs the hand up your arm, over your shoulder and round your neck as the thumb comes up over the chin, pushing the mask up. As it does, she leans in. Mm -hmm. As she leans in, it kind of pulls you closer. I first feel I should ask, are you willing or are you hesitant? Of what? Of her kind of pulling you that bit closer. Does that mean oh, yeah. Is like, is mm. is like, yeah, yeah, you like, get it. <laughs> get some. Is the wording we would be using here. Oh wow, that's fucking Yeah, if anyone were to pull you away, it wouldn't take much. And she does, she leans right in. And she does her lips touch yours. And I need a con save, my friend. Oh, this is a trap? Bro, bro. I mean, I could have told you that. These hoes ain't loyal. <laughs> These hoes ain't loyal. As it does, she starts making the kissy kissy with you. Oh no! And you think, Why not? You think, ah, this is some really, really. I haven't felt this burning, painful sensation of acid in my mouth before. And she does. <laughs> Rips you and her underwater. Oh, oh no! Rebel just goes well. Wow. Oh let's no! Head to this guy. Let's go. Found... Let's go get the door, right? <laughs> let's end it there. <laughs> okay. Oh no! <laughs> Who would have sung? <laughs> Fun fact: it, it literally states here in the book. Unlike other nerds, this one is evil. I mean, I told ah. you so. <laughs> so all other nerds are good. Are this bitch? <laughs> this bitch evil. Wait, 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 wait. Does um does D and D have the same thing as Greek mythology, where they have like clothes that if you take it, they get a uh, they want it back. Uh I ain't seen anything like that here. Nerids in um, Greek mythology, they have like a, a shawl or like skin that they wear. And if you take their skin, they're going to want it back. I'm, I'm not taking their skin. <laughs> Be uh, frozen with you. you. Don't look like you're wearing no type of skin like that. Maybe okay. we're taking my skin. Nah. You want to know the worst part? Mm -hmm. It's the second time in just as many weeks I've managed to pull that one off. Them. I mean, you I, were I saved arguably them the harder. Time. You were arguably harder. I saved him the first time. He was gonna let that stuff happen. I was like, no. <laughs> Listen, one of, one of these times, it's not gonna bite him in the ass. One of these times, it's just the horn. <laughs> it's just the horn, guys. <laughs>